Hello everyone, uh, this is Rita here. And um, I wasn't planning to do a video. Um, well, I kind of wanted to do one, but I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I decided that I wanted to work on um, the fall journal, but I had to do some ephemera and I still have things that I need to print. So I can't really get my pages together yet, but I thought I could make some ephemera. So we had started on this um, yesterday on, um, no, let's see, this was uh, Tanya at Taddy Treasures, uh, her September challenge, that's what it was, um, where we had to take um, book pages um, and use pictures from the books that we tore the pages out of. So a little different than using the, the script part of a, of a page. So um, I sewed around this, and this is gonna be a little journal card. And then I'm going to slide that right into here once we get it finished, and then I'll glue it in the book like this way, and then leave this open. I might even put something back there, okay? So um, this here needs to be, it's not gonna be, I don't know, that exciting, but I just, you know, I needed to, to uh, get some of this started before I have my eye surgery because then I won't really be able to work on anything. So, okay, so I just wanna to tone that down a little bit. I guess that's a, that's a little bit of paper from the back. I used background prints of uh, prints that I printed on coffee dyed and um, the prints were no good. Still liking my printer. I just um, have a lot to print off. Okay, so there's that. Look at how much difference it looks from not having... Um, Okay, so I found a few things I thought I'd put on this front because it's pretty plain. So let me um, go over this. Kind of tone it down. want to see the brush you know the strokes of the brush it's kind of hard to hide that okay and we don't need to do the back because we're going to glue it down so let me do a little extra ink so i thought this was a kind of a great idea to do um with these book pages that we don't, you know, you just don't pull them out and use them when you, when you could. I mean, so now inside here, or not all the way, but where that line is, I want to put um, something right here. This here I printed out, I uh, don't have the regular sheet, but just so you can see, it is this one here, I think. And this is a uh, vintage by me, one of her digis. And I printed on this gold vellum. And you can faintly see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But um, I thought it would be pretty along the edge here. So what I thought I would do is just do a um, washi, make washi tape. I think it'll hold better on the edge if it's um, like washi tape instead of, um, I'm gonna try to go right as close to that edge as I can. Ah, this is so sticky. But I just, I kind of really like this idea because, you know, you can always have some washi to match your design. I think I'm just going to cut this. In fact, I think I'll just get this out because I don't, it doesn't need to be 
um, what do you call it, on the edges. I keep thinking I, I went to Hobby Lobby, but I didn't. Isn't that awful? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I thought I went to Hobby Lobby, and I'm like, I was supposed to get a new blade, and I thought I forgot it, but I didn't go yet because Hobby Lobby, um, their sale started yesterday, and everything I used wasn't on sale last week. Some paper and things, but I did buy some cardstock from Amazon. Um, I got, I think it's 80 grams because I just don't know what, I don't know the grams that well, you know, you just can't keep buying stuff. And so the last ones I bought were 65 and I think it depends on the companies because they change. I think they're different, you know, they're, um, all right, so let me just, sorry if my head's in the camera. Whoops. Oh, well, darn. It's not what I had planned. I can't get it up, though. Oh, I'm a little bit short on this side. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Cut it off. I can't believe I did that. That's what I do all the time, though. I don't pay attention. I don't focus. I went to my doctor's um, this morning because I had to go get my blood pressure and stuff before I do the surgery. You have to go see your regular doctor. So I did that, and... Um, she increased my ADD medicine. I have no idea what it's called. And to see if it helps if I have to take a little bit more. Um, I'm going to cut this off a little bit because I didn't get all the way to the edge. I mean, you really, really have to look at this to find the... Oh, gosh. I don't know what's cro more crooked. This... Oh. I think it'll be fine. I'll put a little ink on there just in case. Okay, so you can see that. I mean, when it's up close and you're you're looking at it, you can see the. Let me pull my scissors. Um, let's see, I was going to cut something. Hmm. Well, I don't see it now. Go over just a little bit. Okay. So now um, <clears throat> we need to decorate the front of this. And um, yeah, it was because it's just so blank. So I pulled out some tea bag. And then I have this. I want to keep it as somewhat of a label here, I think. And then this is a little um, kind of privileged color stamp. So let me this so sometimes I forget that I have things and so before I started this I thought what do I have that you know I don't use that often I just never think to go look at stamps and a lot of times it's because I'm pretty much in a hurry to get this uh, you know the video done I don't know if this needs some ink, but it's kind of like plain. I mean, I, there is no more of these. Oh, 
want? I'm going to use Sobo. Oh, and I ordered Sobo glue. Um, this bottle here. And I got 16 ounces. This is two ounces for $2.49. I got 16 ounces for eight something. And I'm telling you, this glue, I don't even hardly use Fabric Tech anymore because this stuff, I guess it's maybe a, I don't know, it's not a, like a PVA glue because it, um, it dries pretty quickly. I would say, you know, between the uh, fabric tack and uh, like a PVA. So we get that somewhere in the right vicinity. Oh, there's this mark right here. I tell you, I can't ever go back where I wanted to go. So that's one good way to know where you're going to go with it. <clears throat> and you just go a tad higher and cover that mark. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to lose the number. Oh, well, too bad. It's gone. Okay, so now my dilemma was up here. I don't know if I should leave it plain or should I put a label? Because I was thinking of putting a tab on this coming out. Maybe I should put the tab on first and then see if I need a label up here. I don't know. All right. I have this little brown one. I had um, some cardstock that I cut out earlier and was left over. It's just brown. And I don't think I want it over the edge of this part. So let me see what else we might have. Oh, I do have this, which might look look nice with this and this it's a little different color but let me see if I like um, I'm looking for one that's the uh, whale tail it's the same same print you're not going to see the whale. Well, yeah, you will. Just see if I pull it out. I was thinking it was going to be hidden under that, but it's not. I'm getting excited to make uh, the draw for the um, journal. I, I just love how it turned out. Um, I hope whoever gets it is going to like it too, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they will. It's just really a nice, okay. I think this needs to have a little bit more so it matches a little better. That one is a little bit more vintage looking or I don't know. Okay. So that's about in the middle. Doesn't matter. Let me just look. Six and three. Perfect. Um, oh, I thought I left my glue stick in the refrigerator haven't been using the glue stick that much. At least it doesn't feel like I have. Okay, we'll go under that. Okay. 
I did do that right, right? Yeah, fruits. <laughs> I'm like, did I do it upside down? As soon as you pull out that wool, you gotta, I mean, uh, pull out that glue. Oh, where I got the word wool from. Must have been thinking about something. Um, I was writing the writing word, you know, uh, words on a thing over here, and I wrote wood, woods. I don't know why. <laughs> Instead, okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, so now, do I want this? Do you guys think? I kind of like it, but. I don't know. So that's one, two, three, four, five elements. Yeah, I think I'll put it on there. I'll just, I thought about putting it over to the side. I like that, um, like labels, if some, whoever has the journal, myself or somebody else, but you can always write a date in here. I'm not supposed to write on it yet. Write a date in there or maybe, uh, you know, a date there and a subject matter here, you know, like Jenny's birthday or something, and that would look cute. Okay, so I'm gonna close this envelope. I want to go pretty close to the edge so we have enough room in there. Normally I would have come down with this a little bit so it wasn't right in the in the way right to the edge but I don't know if I should probably should glue these down. I kind of like things to kind of Get that 3D effect, but then I don't want it ripped off. I didn't even glue the stem at all. And the other thing about the Sobo glue is um, it dries clear and it's not, it can be a little shiny, but not, nothing like um, Fabric Tac shininess. I should leave that. Okay. Oh, please fit. There's something about sewing to around. I don't know. It just makes it thicker. Okay, hopefully Tanya is pleased with that. All right, so there's um, one. Now I have this one here that I cut and I tried it on this um, craft paper and then I tried it on the black. And honestly, I really think I like the black better. I don't. I don't know, it just kind of loses its sparkle. But the only thing is, I'm gonna cut this down. We'll make, we'll just make a journal card out of it. How about, let's see, let's say if we do, this is not straight, so I have to come back and straighten it. Oh, uh, let's see, oh, jeez, Louise. So if we make it six inches, we can fill it this all in there. And then it's already five. Okay. Watch me not be able to put those right back in the order they were. Um, I 
I might have to glue another piece to this. Um, this is very lightweight cardstock. It was a Hobby Lobby brand. I just can't buy that anymore. Oops, six inches. there okay so all right so that's kind of how I want to do it um, I don't know if we need a word or something or a, something um, this was, um, I saw this, I didn't think of it. Actually, I've seen this done before with other kind of things, not, I mean, we do this kind of like, um, sometimes with our quilts, we'll put black in between, like a wonky quilt in between the fabrics. It kind of makes you like it's like mosaic or lead glass window. Um, but anyway, I saw this not too long ago at my one of the quilt things I went to, and this lady showed it to me that she had done. And I, she did it with a photograph, like a photograph of a flower or something that she took. But when you have one, and this picture was really kind of small, so it makes it a little bigger. All right, and these don't have to be, I mean, I kind of like them off, you know, not just totally, just totally random. But I'm trying to think, do I want, do I want it kind of framed out, you know, like so it looks the, Let's put the bottom. Oh, I hope I get this laid down correctly because it will glue it and we will be stuck with it. Or I'll be stuck with it. You guys won't be stuck with anything. All right. So that gives us this up here, then I'll go, whoops, wrong glue. I'll go to the other side. I'll go to this top part and try to get that somewhat laid. It's a little bit high there. And then these parts don't matter. They'll... Okay. I just wanna make sure this side is kinda of lined. But it's okay because I want it to look more natural, not, you know, like I've planned it right there. Not too off, but yeah, let's just go in between here. Probably could have made this card a little bit smaller. 
this is the first time I've done this, so next time I'll probably forget next time anyway, so whoop, don't do that. Because I was just thinking I could um, put something behind it. But I, it's okay. I think what I'll do is I'll sew around here. I might even sew like just um, stitching across there just to give it some more texture. Or I could stitch here in these spa uh, spaces. Because I can't stamp it. I was thinking about that too before I put those on, but I'd have to stamp in white. Or I could have done like embossing, but embossing's too much work. I pull everything out. <laughs> Heat guns and all that. Okay, so that's there. I will put a backing on that, and that'll be a journal card. And what else? There's not much else. Um, this one I'm going to fussy cut for my birds. I mean, I could make another journal card with these. And these I think I'm going to fussy cut out. So this one and... No, this one is going to be a large journal card. That's right. This I'm going to fussy cut. So I need to move that because I have a fussy cut thing. This I want to make a journal card. Um, what's a good size for a journal card? I mean a big one. bird in there. Make sure I get that one little bird on that side. Okay, so I'm just going to mark it there. Mark it there and I'll cut those two. Actually, I don't want to make it as big as the page. I want it smaller than the page, don't I? Hmm. I'm thinking very well. All right. I want that bird. So. Well. I don't think he's going to make it. Try this. Because a journal card would be too big. down right there and right there It 
it's getting warm out. I can feel it getting hotter and hotter in here. I think it, um, they said it was going to get up to 85, and it's been kind of humid today, so probably going to have some rain. Okay, so I think this would fit in some sort of a pocket. Yeah. Actually, I probably could have left those sides on there. Anyway, that will fit. And this one I will sew onto the back to make it a journal card. I kind of like doing um, this kind of stuff without, you know, not like a kit pocket that comes with it. I mean, they're handy. But, I don't know, I think it's just kind of fun to do your own thing. It's a good thing I like this ink. This one's a little darker than I planned. There's a journal card. Okay. I'll have to put these all on, back on uh, Tatted Treasure's um, Facebook page. It's a group challenge. All right, so I don't think this one I need for my um, blue book. And then I was just gonna fussy cut this one. So I'm gonna put that over here. And I'll just, this goes in my blue book too, because it's, what I was going to try is um, coloring this. Let me see here. Just to see. My and this water doesn't hurt the ink pad at all. I'm just gonna see. So I could use alcohol ink, but alcohol ink really soaks down. This looks more like watercolor. And even though this brush gets purple or green or blue, whatever, it just, it just wipes off. Let's see, I'm trying to stay with a flower and not get a, not do leaves. That might be a leaf. Okay, I just want to see if it works, and it does. Yeah. Seeps through a little bit on this paper, but yeah, that kind of would be, you know, cool if you just did say the flower part, not the, not the rest of it, not the leaves and stems and stuff, just to add a little color to it. If you have a book like this with um, sketches, I mean, even if you had a sketch of a barn, you could take a little brown and go you know, down lines down the barn like this here. Like, so you could do that. Alrighty, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will probably try to get my journal pages together. Um, I'll be able to do tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'll be able to do another video on Wednesday. Thursday may be kind of hard. Um, but then I absolutely will have the one on Friday. For the winter. Okay? So I will see you in the next video. Bye.